Hi everybody, I'm back again with another video. This one is to plan out this week's um, planner to plan it out. This is going to be week number seven. I'm sorry I forgot to put my jewelry on today. Um, I am going to be using the Recollections, the thin washi tape in the tape dispenser and I am going to be using the gray this time around. And then I am going to be using the Recollections washi tape and this is the one that comes in eight, a roll of eight all different um, designs on them and I am going to be using the planner stick stickers from Vintage Glam Studios and this one is called Pretty in Pink um, and then I will be writing using my pens um, they are Stadler Stadler I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this I should like totally try to figure out how to plan this but these pens are so awesome because I bought these the other day I had gotten ten dollars from staples and reward money so I used it and it came out to a dollar seventy nine which is all I had to pay for these and I love them because they have the little stand so the little thing makes a little stand which makes it easier when you're going to use them makes it perfect so yep that's what I'm going to use. Um, I will go ahead and start fast forwarding so that way you guys don't get bored. And please remember if you like these kind of videos to please like the video and also to subscribe to my channel. I am trying to do different types of videos. Um, so I really want to know like what type of videos you guys really like. So I would appreciate it if you let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay, so here is the finished layout. I'm hoping that I'm getting it all in frame. Um, and as you can see, there are a whole mess of different um, little stickers that I wasn't able to use. So I'll go ahead and leave those again for the next time around and I'll use them in a leftover layout. So here is the layout. On Monday is President's Day, which reminds me, on um, the layout before, which had been Valentine's Day, 
I forgot to mention that on Monday is one of my friend's birthday, Kat's birthday, and my other friend, Mary's birthday, is on Tuesday. She, I actually went to school with her son, Jamie, um, in high school. We graduated the same year. And it's so funny because my first job was at a school where she was teaching. So me and her became very close friends. And then I ended up finding out that I had gone to school with her son. So she's like a second mother to me. It's so cool. You know, it's a small, small world. So anyway, and I did want to tell you guys about um, Country Western Day. Oh my God, that was so nice. And we ended up taking a picture together. Where did I put the picture? They had like a little photo booth and we I took a picture with the boys. It was so cute. Like the boys were dancing and they had a partner and it was just adorable. I loved it. I loved it. It was a great, great day for that. And then for Valentine's Day, I had told you guys that we were going to have brunch at Chef Michael's down in the Keys. And oh my God, the food is amazing. Amazing. They're known for their hogfish and um it it did not disappoint not it didn't disappoint at all hold on one second i'm going to show you the pictures of the food because it was delicious so my husband it's a funny story my husband had actually gone down to the keys he's a claims adjuster for progressive my phone is going off. I'm on a minute with text. So he had gone down to Chef Michael's to do an estimate for somebody. And he went down there and the person who he was supposed to do the estimate for wasn't there. So um, they're like, oh no, he's not here, but his father's here. Oh, okay. So the dad comes out, they talk about the car, they do all the stuff, you know, whatever. And then my husband asks him, oh, so how's the food here? Is it any good? And he goes, yeah, I'm, because he knew that he, like the guy obviously worked at the restaurant so he's like oh how how's the food here is it any good and the guy's like oh yeah it's really really good you should you should come down and try it out but try coming on like a Tuesday Wednesday or Thursday when it's not as busy so my husband's like oh okay well maybe I'll bring my wife to come to um you know for Valentine's Day and he went ahead and he made a reservation for 12 o'clock it wasn't until afterwards that he found out that the person that he was talking to was the owner, the chef owner. He was talking to Chef Michael himself. So he's asking the chef owner, is the food any good here? And of course the guy's like, yeah, it's really great. So it's just so hilarious that just <laughs> my husband, you, you gotta love him. He's just, he just is great. <laughs> it was so hilarious how embarrassing that he's asking the guy oh yeah you know the food is great so let me go ahead let's see no I don't have all the pictures here I have one of the pictures there let me go to my pictures so that way I can show you guys the picture okay this is what my husband got and hopefully you guys can see it I'm not sure I might try to see if I can put it in at the end of the video but this is the that is the hogfish benedict that's what my husband got since he got the gastric bypass he can't eat a lot of stuff so he ate the hogfish which he can eat with the sauce on top and the egg he wasn't able to finish all of it but he did finish a portion of it um then i got i'm trying to look quickly through my pictures okay i got the regular benedict the french benedict that's what they call it the french benedict and it's just the ham with the hollandaise sauce which was delicious the eggs and then it's on croissants and then right here these are potatoes with green um green peppers and onions but they're different colored potatoes delicious maybe you can see them better like that it was delicious absolutely scrumptious and then my son one of my sons he got the french toast and it's so beautiful they even put an orchid on it i'll like do a close-up they even put an orchid on it and it was it's on challah bread 
I think that's how you call it. And then they make this cream. I don't know what this cream is, but this cream is heaven. It is absolutely scrumptious. And we didn't even need maple syrup on it. That's how delicious this French toast was. And this thing was no lie. It was that tall. Let, let me get in frame. It was that tall. Three slices of that challah bread and challah bread. I think it's pronounced challah bread. Three slices of that challah bread. Each slice was like that thick. It was so delicious with that cream. Oh my God. And it had strawberries in it. Delicious. And it had some kind of nuts, like praline kind of nuts. Oh, great. And then my other son, he got the breakfast burger. Um... Enzo loves egg, but he loves the egg with the yolk, the sunny side up or over easy egg. And so he got the bref breakfast burger. So it's just a burger with bacon and cheese and it has an egg with yolk in, in it. The boys loved it. They said it was delicious. So that's what we got. I love that place. It is amazing. And let me show you a close up of my husband's just in case. So it's a big piece of hogfish. Like all of that is hogfish with the sauce and then it has the egg and then down here is the croissant which he did not eat. But it was delicious. The hogfish breakfast, um, the hogfish Benedict, absolutely out of this world. Okay, so now that I've made myself even more hungry, let me continue. Um, I forgot, is there anything else I needed to say on this? No, I don't think so. And then I get to this layout. Hello, my current layout. And then, so the reason why I had told you guys that is because I wanted to tell you guys about my weekend. Because on Monday, it was a long weekend because on Monday I didn't have school because it was President's Day. We were actually going to go up to Disney that weekend. Um, but we always stay with my niece and her sister ended up going up there so we couldn't go up there it's there's not a lot of room so we didn't end up going so we stayed home which was great it was fine and we um, just hung out around the house my husband had to work but I didn't so I just hung out with the kids um, I put this sticker on here it says it usually says today is going to be great and I just X'd out the today because this week is going to be great okay <laughs> I wanted to make sure to do that um, then Tuesday is a PD no op day I'm a teacher so that's a day that we have to do professional development and you cannot opt out at the beginning of the school year if you work like two specific days then you can use those two days to take the place of teacher work days and you can opt out of working those days because you had technically already already worked it but this is a no op day you have to come in to work um to and you have to sign up for a training then wednesday we have to pay bills because thursday is payday so i make sure that i pay everything online basically or i write the checks the day before that way on thursday the money is in there and everything goes out and then on Friday, we have the honor roll assembly for kindergarten and first graders. That is going to be adorable because those little ones are too cute. So that's what we have that day. And then on Sunday, I got to make sure to um, fill up the car with gas. Or actually, my husband has to make sure to fill up the car with gas. So that way I have gas for the week. And I forgot to do this meal plan. Um, I guess I'm not going to write out everything. I have to do my meal plan again. And there you go. Oh man, I wrote on the washi. So, this is my completed layout for week seven um hope you guys enjoy please remember to give me a like um please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment i love reading comments hope you guys enjoy bye